I think the most important part about making videos is that you hit record. If you don't hit record, I've said this before in other videos, it doesn't make a video. And that's, that's how you make videos is you have to hit record. Hey guys, welcome to Tiny House Customs. I'm Dan. So obviously last week I didn't have a video and this week I wouldn't have a video, but uh, there's a lot of things that I got to do to prepare for the kitchen. Finish this wall, finish that. The sprinkler head needs to be moved. I might have to move some outlets, which is going to suck some serious. So that's got to get done. I got to clean these floors, get them covered, bring appliances in here. Yeah, just just stuff I got to do. So it's going to be a hodgepodge of a video. Uh, who knows what it, if it'll even become a video? But I'm going to film because I didn't. I haven't filmed in a while. I got to stay. Got to stay right. You know what I mean? Got to got to keep producing. It smells like Dookie in here though. Dookie. There's a fucking mouse up there, Peanut, isn't there? Yes, there is. You should bring a mousey trappy. I got him. I got him, Peanut. I got six mice trap. We'll go put them up there. Don't put that on my tongue. It hurts. Almost got me, Peanut. That would have been good. I would have enjoyed it. They say clickbait's bad, but the video about my sprinkler heads done wonderful. And why? Because it was so clickbait-ish. So right here is my split mini, and right here is my sprinkler head. This split mini needs to be moved over and down because the washer and dryer that's gonna go here is very large, 30 inches out. I'm gonna get a big one. I was gonna get a really small one, but then I was like, no, just get the big one because then that's good. And that's what I'm gonna do. This needs to come down, which means this is in the way. And from standing back there the other day and looking at it, I really wanna drop this about four inches and bring this over to about here. So boom, boom, boom. It's here to here. So this corner is literally gonna be right here, which means I want this thing to be four inches lower and about four inches over. Step one, shut the water off. Already did it, last video, if you remember. I might have did it on video, might have. Ooh, wow, why don't you just cut your wires? You don't need them. So I'm gonna take this thing off. Just got three screws in it. Pretty e easy. So I'm gonna put that in a safe place. I'm gonna give it some crayons and a puppy to play with. So I cut the block for there. I also did some pocket holes so I can get some, some clean stuff happening right there, you know? It smells like dookie. If I put those on the other side, it would have worked better. You know, come in this way, because then I wouldn't have the stud in the way. But I do. Next thing I gotta do is take this thing off. You need a special tool for it when you use one of these. First thing you gotta do is cut the pecs as close to flush to the end of the, uh, the fitting. There's a sharp knife, and then there's a, a round edge. Put the round edge in there, put the knife on top, following me and then I just like to put two indentations in it like that it'll open it up and it pops right off don't cut yourself this time remember remember last time Can you see it see that pink yeah that was last time don't do it don't do it don't do it cut away from yourself pop that off roughly right there Scruff, McGruff, Chicago, Illinois, 30362. I'm sure I don't have anyone from Chicago that's going to correct me. And then slide this onto there. I need to always, every time I do this, I need that thing and I don't have it ready. Ever. Why do I never use the go or no go tool? Because I didn't find it to ever be a problem. There's things that you can calibrate on this tool to make it stronger, less stronger. I found it to be good when I got it. So I didn't mess with it and it's always done just fine for me. It smells like dookie. Now this split mini, I do have a video about me installing it or getting it to this point as well as the thing on the outside. Uh, I won't be releasing it to YouTube because it's not, I'm not very proud of it, but it is on my Patreon page if you want to check it out. One dollar a month. Just keep begging for money, Dan. That'll work. It's just a $3,000 hardwood floor. Just leave those screws wherever you want. This is a shitty video, Dan. Shitty video, I'm unsubscribing. 
I'm sure there's somebody that loves you out there, asshole. So I've done some more research about the washer and dryer I'm gonna get. Washers and dryers come in cubic foot or whatever. So your washer would be like a standard might be like five cubic feet washer and seven cubic feet dryer. That's way too big for the space that I have. GE, I believe, has a, a two versions called the Space Saver. It's a stackable washer and dryer. The smallest one is like 1.5 cubic feet washer and two cubic feet dryer. It's 28 inches, I believe, by 24, I believe. Don't quote me on any of those numbers. And then the next step up from that is three or four cubic feet for the washer and then four or five cubic feet for the dryer. Uh, but it comes out 30 inches, 30.85. This right now I've got, if I come to here, so what I'm going to do is add an extra stud to this, which is going to make this opening an inch and a half smaller. The trim that's going to go on here is only going to be a quarter inch thick on both sides. So this will end up being two inches shorter. Two inches. That's fine. I can still walk through that. It's a little tight, but I mean, how often do you spend just standing in a doorway? Not much. This, this height is good seven inches yeah oh i'm fine this needs to come out i might as well if those if i screwed them in i did yeah baby right in it if any of you are plumbers in the state of north carolina and can do hvac work i need i might need some brazing and i need some vacuuming i will pay three to four hundred dollars for that to get done that's it the electricity's done. It's it's done. I will be there every step of the way for you. If you need me to grab something, you need me to do a little reach round. I got you. I am there. I don't I don't ever give out my cell phone number or where I live. I have two exceptions to that rule, but she was really hot. She, you should have seen her. Oh my god. But anyways, I need help with that. Perverted jokes aside. Like grumpy cat, grumpy Dan. Tonight is the first night that my neighbors are outside. These neighbors behind me this way. And it kind of concerns me because as a tiny house owner, I fly under the radar. And they could see me talking to myself, call the cops, because it's like there's a fucking wackadoo next door. Turn a Yui and go up and in. Oh, God. I should have six men. Daniel, you would like that. You would like that, wouldn't you, Dan? Mom. Stop it, I'm not gay. I can already tell you before I bring that up inside that I have a disaster, like major problems. Dealing with it, gonna fix it, yes. Still, problems. That cardboard box right there, $800. I had a few questions about my mom. Can you, can you show your mom? Can your mom be part of the video? <laughs> yeah, if my mom watched my videos, she would probably on DNA me. Daniel, I don't want to be a part of your YouTube channel. She doesn't watch my videos. Oh, f it. just do it. Well, that's heavy. Wait a minute. Just, just do it get in my way. I will get in my way. Watch me. I need to get on the first step. The first step is level. And then I can get it, maybe. That's one step. Two steps. Three. How many are there? Nineteen. Motherfucker. No. What is going on? Can you need some helping? Do you want to give me kisses? Okay, thank you. That's all the help that you can give him. I need you to go back. I will stop it. I don't know what I'm not loving. I need a drink break. Ne pasa cuche por la expedition. Which means do not lay down on this side. Well, make it lighter, please. Oh, okay, farted. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, yeah, I got one more, baby. Probably f***ing it up, aren't I, Peanut? Oh, yeah, dude, trust me, you are f***ing it up. You can't just give up at this point. It's clearly staying. Oh, I'll, I'll enjoy a an adult beverage. One. Okay. Yep. Just dent the.
Get out of it. Just my luck is not going to fit through the doorway. Oh my god, it just fits. So new day, new, like, long, long time is, is passed. I've been sick, deathly, deathly sick. Illness, still am sick. So I'll probably be breathing like I'm like dying in this video, which sounds like I'm dying in all my videos. Am I not gonna drink? I haven't drank in like a week. I'm just gonna have one, just one. So you can see I got my appliances in. I've got my very large refrigerator. Ended up being bigger than what I thought it was gonna be. I didn't really, didn't measure when I ordered it. I was like, that, that should work. I mean, it'll work, but there's a problem which I'll go over in a little bit. Also, I gotta switch these around so they open this way, which also is gonna affect the stairs. A lot of problems with this, but I'd rather have a large fridge. I realized that little one wasn't, wasn't doing it. This has got two vegetable crispers in it. Oh, it's great. How much did I spend on that? That was about seven, 800 bucks. Pretty expensive. And then I got my dishwasher. Beautiful. I spent a lot of money on that. Dishwashers are normally like three, four hundred bucks. Because this thing is so small, it costs double what a normal dishwasher would cost. So, high end right there. Honda GE, what is it? I don't know. It's got an H. What is H? That's an H. H, what's H mean? GE, what? Oh, is that a G and an E? Oh, I never knew that. I always thought it was an H. That's a G and an E. Hey, you learn something new every day. And then I've got a Premier four burner propane stove. It's nice. I'm happy with it. And then I also have a, a range vent thing that I had to order separate. It is th that was very hard to find a 20 inch wide or 20. Yeah, I think that's 20 inches. It's real small, but I'll put that thing in right about here. Cabinets up above, so it'll be beautiful. And it won't be in the way of the sprinkler head, which I've moved again. I keep moving it. Haven't finished this, but the stove was like seven, eight hundred bucks. Oh, I'm probably gonna have comments about this kitchen too. Like, what the hell? But I'm gonna avoid those void comments on it now because we got a we got a lot to do here eventually. So ask your questions now, and I'll address them in videos later about this kitchen. But I've got plans. Don't think, don't think that I didn't think about what I'm doing. Great thought has gone into this insane amount of thought.